people can't actually see the particles which make up substances. You can't see atoms and you can't see molecules. So to try to understand how they behave, scientists form models about these substances. One of these models is called kinetic theory. The word kinetic means movement. And that's because kinetic theory is all about the movement of particles, of molecules. Now the movement of the molecules depends on the phase of the substance. Phase might be solid, liquid or gas. In the solid phase, according to kinetic theory, particles just vibrate and they have very little energy. They don't have much kinetic energy, meaning they don't move very fast, and they don't have much potential energy. They're not very far apart from one another. The molecules are close together. Related to that, there are strong intermolecular forces between the molecules inside a solid. For most substances, if you add some heat to the solid, it will melt will change to a liquid. In the liquid phase, according to this model, the molecules flow over one another. So they have more kinetic energy. They move a bit faster than just vibrating. They also have some more potential energy. They're a little bit further apart often. That's related to the intermolecular force strength. According to this theory, the bonds between the molecules loosen during melting so that the molecules aren't held so closely together in a liquid than a solid. According to kinetic theory, the particles of a gas jump around and they fill the entire container that they're in. The particles of a gas have a lot of energy, a lot of kinetic energy. They move around quickly. They also have a lot of potential energy. They are far apart from one another. And this is because their intermolecular forces are very small. In fact, According to kinetic theory, there are no intermolecular forces between the particles of a gas. Now here we have macroscopic views of water in the solid phase and in the liquid phase. In everyday language, we would call the solid phase of water ice and we might just call the liquid phase water. But obviously the ice is also water. But on a microscopic level, this is one way to visualize a water molecule consisting of two hydrogen atoms bonded to an oxygen atom. This is a macroscopic representation of solid water. And here's a microscopic representation according to kinetic theory. Let's look at a simulation of this. We can see how the particles just vibrate in their place. Here we have a macroscopic view of liquid water and then a microscopic view. Let's watch a video of that. In the simulation, you can see the water molecules flowing over one another. Now, I can't show you a macroscopic view of water vapor, gaseous water, because it's invisible. But it's all around you in the air. And the more there is in the air, the more humid the air feels. And here we have a microscopic representation of it. Let's watch a simulation video. We can see that the particles jump around filling the container and hitting the sides of the container. And before we go, have you already liked? Have you subscribed? Have you left me a comment? And please go and visit my website. You'll find a lot of resources there and they're categorized in a way that will make it very easy for you to find what you need. Until we meet again, learn science.